الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احبت في لا السني السلفي is a person who strives to adhere to kitab Allah wa sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the understanding of the salaf of this ummah and the salaf of this ummah meaning at the rasihim is the sahaba of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in that they are the asal of the jama'a so when we say we're from ahl sunnah wal jama'a that means we are taking the understanding of the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in in our understanding of islam our aqidah our fiqh our methodology for understanding and all of the sciences of islam sheikh al farqaus said in a very book beneficial book entitled sharf al intisab ila madhhab as salaf <coughs> He said, "With tasmiya to be salafia, la tadad tasmiya tasmiyat al ukhra, wa la tu khalifaha ka tasmiya ta ahl al sunnati wal jama'a, wa firqa ta najia, wa ansar al sunna, lian dalika min bab al ikhtilaf ta nawa, wa musamma wahid, wa maana aydan, wa huwa tamasku, wa huwa tam." وهو تمسك بالكتاب والسنة وفق فهم السلف الأمة. so the sheikh said حفظ الله تعالى one of our مشايخ from جزائر from Algeria. he said the name salafia does not contradict the other names which the people of the sunnah have taken. So there is no contradiction or difference, but rather it is similar to the name Ahl Sunnah Wal Jamaa, or Firqa Tanajia, the saved sect, or Ansar Sunnah, meaning the friends of the Sunnah or the companions of the Sunnah. And he said, and that is because, and that is all from the Bab Ikhtilaf Tanawwa. That means that it is from the permissible difference, the difference in gradation, not in total contradiction. So you have two different types of differences. You have اختلاف تنوع و اختلاف تضاد. اختلاف تضاد means that two things contradict. They totally contradict each other. Uh, the the differences, for example. Ahl Sunnah, we believe that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala rose above His throne in a manner that suits His Majesty. Ahl Bid'a, like the Ashaira, they say no; it means istola, or it means something else. They change the meaning, and their meaning and our meaning are that's ikhtilaf tabad. Mean it's totally contradicts. It's totally a, a difference. In fact, you'll find people from them. Who make takfir of Ahl Sunnah because they say that we are being too literal and that we are making a resemblance or tashbi between the Creator and His creation, but this is from their weak faham. So that is the point I mentioned. That masala is that shows us ikhtilaf tabad. These names, these different tasmiyat or these different names of Ahl Sunnah, they are ikhtilaf tanawa. Because if you say Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'a, or you say uh, uh, the Salafiyun, or if you say Firqa Tanajia, they all have the same meaning. Although the 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 names are different, but they all refer to Ahl Sunnah. They all refer to the people to who adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the Salaf, meaning. The understanding of the companions, رضي الله تعالى عنهم مجمعين وتابعين and the تابعين and the اتباع تابعين. Those who, those 
three, those first three generations, that this is how they take their understanding in Islam. So those names do not contradict. So going back to what the Sheikh said, and he said, وَمُسَمَّ وَاحِدْ وَمَعْنَ أَيْدًا He said it's just one, it's the same meaning, the meaning is the same, uh, even though these, uh, these various names, they all describe the same group. They all describe the Firqa Tanajia, the, the saved sect. And he said, وَهُوَ تَمَسِّكُ وَهُوَ تَمَسِّكُ بِالْكِتَابِ وَالسُنَّةِ وَفْكَ فَهَمَ سَلَفَ أُمَّةِ he said then, and it is adhering to the Qur'an and the Sunnah with the understanding of the pious predecessors of the Ummah. And then he brought a beautiful statement of Ibn Rajib. قَالَ حَافِذْ Ibn Rajib رَحِيمُهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى وَأَمَّا فِتْنَةُ الشُبَهَاتِ وَلَحْوَى الْمُضِلَّةِ فَبِسَبَبِهَا تَفَرَّكَ أَهْلَ الْكِبْلَةِ وَصَارُوا شِيعًا وَكَفْرَ بَعْضُهُمْ بَعْضًا وَصَارُوا أَعْدَاءٍ وَفِرَقٍ وَأَحْزَابٍ بَدَ أَنْ كَانُوا إِخْوَانٍ قُلُوبُهُمْ عَلَى قَلْبُ رَجِلٍ وَاحِدٍ فَلَمْ يُنْجُحْ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْفِرَقِ إِلَّا فِرْقَةَ وَاحِدَ النَّاجِيَةِ وَهُمْ مَذْكُورُونَ, وهم مذكورون في قوله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا تزال لا تزال طائفة من أمتي ظاهرين على الحق لا يضرهم من خذلهم أو خالفهم حتى يأتي أمر الله وهم على ذلك. So Ibn Rajib رحمه الله تعالى said, and as for the fitna, you know, or the trials and tribulations uh, of shubahat. Uh, you know, doubtfulness, wa'ahwa, and desires, uh, misguided desires. The reason for this, or because of these things, the people of the Qibla, meaning the Muslims, they split. And they became Shi'an, meaning they became uh, sects. And they began to make takfir of one another, you know, consider one another to be disbelievers. And they became in, uh, enemies to one another and groups and parties after they were once united brothers with one heart, you know, united together on one heart. And no one will be successful from that group except for one saved sect and he said they are those who are mentioned in the statement of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam there will not cease to be a group from my nation which is clearly on the truth no one will harm them who differs with them or disagrees and uh, disagrees and tries to belittle them until the command of Allah is established and they will be upon that. Meaning Ahl Sunnah will remain till the last days. There will be someone. And that's why the Prophet said, La tizal ta'ifatun min ummati. There won't cease to be a group from my nation. And I, Sheikh Salih bin Fawzan said about this, that up, up until, which is as is mentioned in another hadith, until the final hour. So in the last days, there will not be any people of good left. And the people will be so removed to such a level of ignorance that they won't even know what Allah, you know, who Allah is. And they'll say Allah, you know, and some will say la ilaha illallah, but they'll say it, they'll say, well, what does it mean, basically? And they will say that I heard my father saying that, meaning that they won't even know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, because the people of Shur will be the last people on the earth and they will in the that when the hour is established. So that's a faida from our ulama. Then Ibn Rajib said, Wuhum fi akhir zaman ghurabah al-mathkurun fi hadi fi hadi al-ahadith 
الذين يصلحون إذا فسد الناس وهم الذين يصلحون ما أفسد الناس من السنة So Ibn Rajab then he said and they meaning Ahl Sunnah describing Ahl Sunnah during the time uh, during the last uh, days will be strange they'll be the strangers the ghuraba those who are mentioned in the ahadith of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam like the hadith where the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said uh, those who when he was describing the ghuraba those who rectify the people those those who rectify when the people have spoiled or spread wickedness you know ahl sunnah that's a characteristic of ahl sunnah that they rectify things they don't cause more fitna and that's an ibra that's a lesson for us now whenever you see someone that they're only causing fitna even if they call themselves salafi even if they call themselves from ahl sunnah even if they call themselves ahl athar even if they call themselves from ahl hadith but all you see is that they make tibdi you know call others innovators quickly without hujja without dalil or they make takfir of others without dalil without proof or they fight others for no reason or because they differ with them or they declare them to be innovators because just because they differ with them not because of they differ with the haq then no they are not rectifying the people but ahl sunnah a characteristic of them is that they rectify alladhina yuslihuna ma afsada an-nas min as-sunnah they're the ones who rectify what the people have ruined uh from the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam meaning the people have gone away from it the people have spread fasad they spread wickedness and bid'ah and sinfulness and those are just some of the benefits from the sheikh and we ask Allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wasallam